Welcome to Montreal for the 113th International Skating Union World Figure Skating Championships. The most significant event on the figure skating calendar. and fun to watch. Around the rank, people on their feet. Referencing the inspiration that he gets from other skaters like Yuzuru Hanyu, even like Ilya Malinin and Shoma Uno, still potentially the best. in the Bell Center. I always think, Tanya, that they have this wonderful respect and connection between each other. Spot on with those swizzles, well done. Wow, I came into this event assuming that the Canadians could contend for gold, but that was brilliant from Charlie Gina and Marco Fabri. Wow, that was terrific as well. And the GOE on that choreo rhythm sequence almost at maximum from all of the judges you could just see. The youngest of the three Korean women in this final group from one of the strongest skating nation in the women's discipline. Could she be the one to push a Korean woman onto the podium again? Yes! 
149.67. A teenager out there seeing how her body and performance has impacted thousands of people. She drops behind Kori Sakamoto. That can't be a huge surprise to see the world champion go above you. <laughs> but it's not quite enough for the title, but they move up one spot from last year. The winners tonight, Madison Chop and Evan Bates. Great concept, great elements, and a great win. Now, if this performance had been in about an hour and a half time or more, we could have been seeing the world champion. That was phenomenal. He made history with it. He now makes it consistently achieved. It's rock star worthy performance. <laughs> <laughs> A new world record for the quad god, Ilya Malinin. He is, there's your world champion right there. And his dad doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> 